Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll discuss how attacks are created in today's high-end AAA production games. We'll also take a look at NPC attacks and how they differ slightly from a hero attack moveset, and a few tips and tricks on the process of roughing in enemy animation reactions to the attacks themselves. There's a lot of ways to approach crafting a hit combo, so we're going to hit you with some of the basic fundamentals and best practices to get you started using some of the top-rated games as visual examples. Okay, let's practice again. What are your hobbies? Um, a hobby is something you like, right? To fight with powerful opponents, of course. No, you can't say that! You might be tempted to dive right into the fun, endless cycle of combos right off the bat, as they are arguably some of the most fun and exciting actions to animate in game development. The possibilities are endless, and it really is up to the imagination on how to make them unique, responsive, and entertaining to watch for the user. It's fascinating to compare how a franchise originated and contrast it to today's modern-day animation standards and technological advancements. Our favorite heroes have seen some significant changes thanks to advancements in both hardware and development software. Ranch it up! <laughs> Time for some ranch! <laughs> but before we get into the full complexity of the hero attack combo, let's take a look at the mechanics of the single hit attack. This attack may be the most important part of the attack combo chain. This will be the very first move the player will utilize when striking an enemy in a game. A single button press will execute a single hit, so it's very critical that the first hit is quick and seamless. If the single attack is animated too slowly, the game will feel sluggish, and most importantly, it will make the rest of the attacks feel sluggish in comparison, and it will affect how the buildup of the combo is performed in game directly impacting gameplay. The attack should also look and feel great mechanically from all angles, especially if you have a non-fixed camera. There's very little anticipation in the pose itself. The anticipation can be thought of as being in the user's input as a hit needs to be executed precisely when the user's button is pressed to execute the attack, typically in a matter of frames. This is not to be confused with heavy attacks, where longer anticipations of the character animation can be created to give the player an advantage in damage, but also take longer to execute, leaving the player open for enemy damage. The core fundamentals of the character's core single attack are going to be the speed, lack of anticipation, often just a single pose or frame, the attack starting and ending with the idle pose, and keeping in mind where the keyframe pose will be towards the end of the attack to chain it to the second attack in the combo. This helps balance the gameplay and encourages the user to mix up their attacks based on enemy types and gameplay strategy. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Learn the entire process of animation and motion capture using Autodesk Maya to create game industry quality attack animations. The full AAA animation workflow is explained in detail in their Masterclass courses. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. To understand visually more about combos, let's take a look at some NPC character attacks and how they are executed. Typically for NPC enemy hits, large anticipations are created to allow the user to react in time to dodge or parry the attack. The amount of anticipation an enemy has is another way to balance gameplay as more advanced enemies will have less of an indicator that they are about to strike the player. This helps balance the overall gameplay as well as help visualization of the movements of the enemy itself. Animating these kinds of attacks are a bit easier compared to a hero attack combo as they don't rely on user input. The momentum buildup is equally important with any solid attack combo, whether it be from an NPC or hero character. Now that we've examined the core mechanics of a single attack and the fundamentals of combos, Let's take a look at the breakdown of a 3-hit combo controlled by the player and some of the differential characteristics. When creating a hero's 3-hit combo, it's important to keep in mind footwork as the character steps forward and the momentum that is built in the 3 hits. Timing is crucial to create buildup in the attack and typically you will see the sequential hits build in complexity, power, and what is referred to as spacing within the movements. Typical timing will be a very fast, quick first hit, a slightly slower second hit, with the two hits building in momentum for a thunderous third hit, dealing the most damage and oftentimes ending the chain, moving back to the idle position when the chain is finished. It is important to build the attack as a whole to ensure that the attack works in succession. 
and most importantly that it is performing flawlessly in engine with the user's input. Depending on the stylization of the game and the type of game genre, the timing of an attack combo can be quite different, with more realistic games often being quite a bit slower in timing to convey a more realistic, less superheroish overall movement. The more stylized the character type, the more exaggerated and pushed the timing can be. You might be asking what about the second hit and how is that created? Similar to the first hit, if the user only attacks twice, the character returns back to the idle position. And while we could allow the engine to blend this animation, you may want to be in full control of that transition in Maya. So taking note of the second keyframe hit pose will often be the best transition back to the idle pose of your character. Another take on the single hit are finisher attack animations. Typically you will see these kinds of attacks towards the end of a combo or even as an IGC or in-game cinematic event where the enemy is executed in an entertaining and stylized way. Oftentimes this can involve a sequence that is a canned moment that is non-player controlled. These can be some of the most interesting parts of an attack while also giving the user a chance to catch their breath for executing an elaborate moveset. This also allows some artistry to give the game some flair and break up the monotony of endless chains of attacks that can start to feel mundane in the process. It gives the animator a chance to execute some visual flair to the game and spice up a final enemy kill. Round one. Another type of attack that builds on the ones we've just studied is a takedown animation or sneak attack kill. Depending on the genre and the user's momentum, as they advance towards the adversary, these attacks are often carried out based on the enemy's proximity to the player and can happen when the player is static or in motion. These kinds of attacks keep players immersed in the environments generated in today's games and enhance their realism. Now we've taken a look at the various kinds of attacks that exist in game, one last piece to the puzzle are the NPC enemy hit reactions to these attacks. While the animation itself creates the core power of the moveset, the hit reaction of the enemies can be equally as effective at conveying the power of the attack itself. Animated hit reactions to the hero character are also vitally important to convey the power of the NPC enemy attack animations. The player will see the move as having greater power, the more stunned and vulnerable they feel from the animated visuals as a result of the opponent's hits. Seeing the damage that is caused by the hit itself is yet another element that delivers a visual to the player on how powerful the move itself is. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! A trick animators often use will be to place a cube or static mesh where the enemy might be in relation to the attack to rough in the reaction and give a quick visual to the power of the attack as is being created. Animating with a cube for complex movements is a great workflow to not only get the overall timing of a character, but to also get a sense of how the camera should be framed depending on the situation in the game. In this example, we can see a rather complex character jumping through some enemies while executing the main attack at the peak of the jump, before attempting to work on intricate body sections that might interfere with the overall motion and timing. Animating a cube and roughing in the overall body root motion will allow the shot to be simplified as the movements continue to be perfected layer by layer. It can actually save a lot of time to position the main character's moves using a cube or a simplified mesh and then animate the enemies in accordance with the primary mechanics of the hero's motions. Putting all the visual effects, lighting, cloth, and secondary movements together all help bring the shot to its final production. It's time for favorite programming block! From an entertainment and technology aspect, the bar is constantly being lifted for how realistic game circumstances can be for the player. The benchmark for animation quality has risen significantly. In order to create more complex attacks and make them engaging for the user, it is crucial to understand the attack's principles. Well that about does it for this video installment on in-game character attacks and combos. Hopefully this gives you a bit of insight on how these moves are created and inspire you to push your attack movesets for your next project. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!